Today we are going on another road trip adventure to the capital of Cyprus, Nicosia. Go North Cyprus has suggested that we visit two major landmarks there. I would tell you what they both were if I could pronounce them. And then besides that, we have no clue what we're doing. It's very interesting though because the capital is split into two parts. One part's in South Cyprus and the other part's in North Cyprus. I'll give you some information we've gotten off of Wikipedia. Nicosia is the capital and seat of government of the Republic of Cyprus and as such is the furthest southeast of all EU member state capitals. It has been continuously inhabited for 4,500 years and has been the capital of Cyprus since the 10th century. Let's go. Hopefully they have good food. Now the trick is going to be getting out of these alleyways that we somehow made it through last night to get to our hotel. We definitely were not supposed to park where we were, but the people at our hotel were really nice. That's a parking brake. We have arrived in Nicosia. Found a good parking spot on the street right next to the first thing on our agenda, which is a mosque that I still can't pronounce the name of. Selimie Mosque. We'll, we'll show you a sign. This is the word that we haven't been able to pronounce all morning. Well, that was our first time inside of a mosque. We've been in a lot of churches since we've been in Europe this year, and I definitely have to say the mosque style of decoration is much more minimal than the churches that we've been in. Just an observation from our first time inside of a mosque. This mosque specifically was actually converted from a church to a mosque in 1570. Now that that's checked off our list, we are heading towards the market down the road to see if maybe they have something we can get for lunch. This is the current state of the covered market. Apparently it's closed on Sunday. Let's go find food somewhere else. Lesson of the day, if you come to Nicosia, Sunday is probably not the best day because a lot of things are closed. Helps narrow down our decisions on what we're going to do. <laughs> we're not eating here, they just have really cool umbrellas as a roof. But if it rains, we'll come back. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, is it milk? Maybe it's the milky yogurt stuff we had in the airport. Uh, it's definitely yogurt. She says it's good. <laughs> it's the milky yogurt stuff. Very strong. We've been passing kebab shops left and right since we've been in Cyprus. And I've been craving one since we got here. So we finally go. Next stop is the Great Inn, which from what we can tell is kind of like an old school hotel. Travelers and like people who were traveling in big caravans could stop and stay. And I think it says something about trading goats and storing their horses. It was built in 1572 and now it's been restored and has like shops and cafes and souvenirs. We looked in a few of the shops. Unfortunately, nobody was trading goats today. <laughs> so now we're going to get some ice cream.
We are calling it a day here in Nicosia and heading back to Kyrenia. To be fair, we probably should have done some more planning. Called a prayer. Like we said earlier, we learned our lesson. Don't come to Nicosia on a Sunday because the Turkish baths were closed, the market was closed, the shops at the Great Inn were closed, and the church was closed. But we still had a great time. And now we're gonna make it back in time to our awesome hotel that has a rooftop terrace for sunset. We just got back to our hotel on the Kyrenia Harbor and we have this whole rooftop terrace to ourselves. We're gonna watch the sunset and call it a night. Don't touch it. I said don't touch it. Well, I didn't touch it. You just go like this. Oh yeah. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't move. Alright. No quick movements. Where are you taking us? Wrong way. Let's go straight next. 